ਇਹ ਬੰਦਾ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਚ ਫਸਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਬਾਈ ਜੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਕੰਮ ਤੇਰ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਫ਼ ਸਫਾਈ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਜਦ ਬਈ ਆ ਕਰ ਇਧਰੋਂ ਧੂੜ ਧਾੜ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਰਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਬੰਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਇਹਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੀਆਂ ਟਿਪਸ ਲੈਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਈ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਆ ਨਾ ਲੱਗੇ ਇਧਰ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਲੋ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਹੈਲੋ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਗਿਵ ਅਸ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਯੈਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ 19 ইয়ার্স ওল্ড আই স্টাডি ব্যাচেলর অফ এডুকেশন এট মনাশ ইউনিভার্সিটি and i'm an english teacher for bce year 11 and 12 oh all right jackson what made you to go to english because i was good at english in at school and i wanted to help people so they could be good at it as well oh right. jackson nu apa english de vich puchya ki bhi ede bare ki kehnda ji main 9vi ch oh sorry 19 saal da munda hai te melbourne uh, monash uni ch padda te eh english tutoring karaunda hai kyunki kehnda meri english vadhiya si gi ਇਹ ਤੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਰਟਨਰ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਓਪਨ ਕਰੀ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਿਆ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਟੂਟਰੀ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਚ ਪੁੱਛੂਗਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਤੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਇਹ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਇਹਨੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਦੇ ਹੈਨ ਕਿ 11ਵੀਂ 12ਵੀਂ ਦੇ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਪੁੱਛਦੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਜੈਕਸਨ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਦ ਕਾਮਨ ਚੈਲੰਜਸ ਦੈਟ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਲੈਵਲ ਫੇਸ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ and how do you help them overcome these challenges there are two main challenges that i see um one of the key tasks in english is analyzing how a text conveys meaning so in their analysis a lot of students just retell the story of the books that they're reading and they yeah. don't analyze it and then the other thing is a lot of students struggle writing they know their ideas they know how to think critically yep. they don't know how to express those ideas in written language So how I overcome this is I give them vocabulary to use, get them text structures and tell them to read a lot of sample essays so they can copy some of the text structures and communicate that in their writing. Uh how do you tailor your teaching approach for year 11 and 12? I start off by getting my students to send me a sample essay for each of the different components of VC English. Yep. Um so I can look at their weaknesses and create lesson plans to focus and tailor their weaknesses. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Jack some can you share some uh, effective uh, strategies and techniques most important ones is to not study all at once yeah. so it's so much better to do 20 minutes a day to do 2 hours before your test or before an exam or even doing an all nighter um, just because you don't consolidate the knowledge uh, sure well. that on a whiteboard how to analyze the essay yeah. what, 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 that I'll sort give of some specific tips as well yes yes yeah, yes yeah, yeah. yes okay yeah. let's go yeah. to the whiteboard okay so how many sections are in an exam there are three sections section a which is text response mm-hmm. section b creating texts and section c argument analysis all right so we are going to discuss one by so one so we're going to discuss each of them on the whiteboard bandha right kar rahe Yes, yeah, so these are the three really important things for section. First one is that you're responding to the prompt. A lot of students just start rambling or start retelling the story, but you have to remember that text response, I mean you're making an argument about an idea that the author is communicating through their text. You really have to make sure that you are responding to the prompt. Second of all, beyond just analyzing characters, you really need to be analyzing the themes in the text as well as the construction devices as well. that is the stylistic features the structural features any symbols and motifs in the text that will show that you have a really good understanding of the novel that you're studying and it will also allow you to set yourself apart from other students the last one that i look for is that you're embedding evidence in your writing so don't just put in brackets a quote or quote at the end of a sentence embed the quote in your writing so when the assessor reads it it flows seamlessly and fluently to us example of this one yeah no So as an example if you just wrote Jack was hungry yes. that isn't embedded in the writing yep. but if you write the author depicts Jack being hungry then you've embedded that quote in the sentence um, which the assessors love to see in text response So we don't have a very big whiteboard so this is a little bit small so come in close so you can see it um for the second example in that you're analyzing characters and construction devices um a basic analysis would be the happy character represents the theme of joy That's pretty basic. Everyone could see that. You're just analyzing a character. But the second example states that the author's depiction of the sun shining encapsulates the notion of joy because the sun is symbolic of happiness. So that there would be a more complex point of analysis because you're taking into account the construction of the text rather than just the character. Talk about section B. Section B creating texts. Yeah. Like first, so the first criterion is the sophistication of ideas. If you were to not have a very complex idea, you might do technology is bad. This is a little bit boring, 
and it's pretty basic and you wouldn't get very good marks for it. Whereas if you did the implications of technology on addiction, this is more nuanced and complex. The next criterion is having an understanding of audience, purpose and context. The different audiences in VCE are any audience. The different purposes is to argue, to reflect, to explain or to express. And the different context is you can use any textual form. My tips for audience purpose and context are to use the characteristics of your purpose and form and to explore content and establish a voice or a style that's appropriate for your audience. And our last criterion is title and stimulus. On the exam, you'll be given a title and some stimulus material to respond to. To get full marks, you have to just embed the stimulus throughout the piece, but the title has to be fundamental to your text. To achieve marks for this, mention the title in your introduction and your conclusion. And just as I said, embed stimulus to it. I hope that helps. And finally, we've got section C, which is argument analysis. As I'm sure you know, you'll be given a persuasive text that you have to analyze. The first thing is you really need to identify the contention, which is what they're arguing, the intention, what they want the audience to respond to, and their supporting arguments in the text. There's usually three supporting arguments. After you've nailed that, the second step is to analyze persuasive devices or the language features using the what, how, why structure. What, label the device, how, provide a quote, and why, how does it position the audience to think about an idea, feel something, or do something. This is the bulk of your analysis, and this is where most of the marks are on the exam. The last one is analyzes the development of arguments. Most students forget this, um, but it's really important to outline how arguments generally start off with credibility, and then introduce their contention, and then do a call to action at the end once the audience is already persuaded. Yeah, so it's a half an hour, one hour, or two hour? Three hours. So Three it's hour a exam. very long exam. So we recommend spending an hour on each of the sections. So do you have any success story to share with us? Yeah, I had a student who at the start of the year was getting maybe 60, 70%. Yeah. And then after tutoring, she ended up getting 90 plus on every single sack in every single test that she was doing. Do you provide online tutoring as well? Online and in person. And? In person in as person well. As at well. Okay. Uh, Round Library in Ringwood. Yeah, yeah, okay. If someone wants to contact you, how how they can contact you? you go on our website, which is learning2succeedbce.com.au. Um, yeah. So they can go to the website and they can sign up on the website. Okay, so that's the only way to contact you. Or you can go on our Instagram, which is just learning to succeed bce oh, okay. and DM us. So what about the pricing? How much you charge? It is $40 for individual sessions and yeah. $30 for group sessions per hour. Online in person is the same. Online in person is yeah. the same, okay. Yeah. So you are based in Ringwood? Based in Ringwood, yeah. But okay. you can treat it anywhere over Victoria, they're doing BCE. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any, any advice to the students or to the parents? Uh, be very persistent, both with the students and the parents. One of the most important things to doing well in English is to regularly get feedback and to regularly practice writing. The feedback? From teachers or from tutors or even from your friends. If you have some smart friends, yeah. send it to them, get some feedback. So you can hear and encourage your student to write as much as possible and to read their English books early in the year as well. So, Thanks all for listening. It was good to chat a little bit about English. Yeah. And I hope you've gained some insights on how to do well with this year. Yeah, alright. See you guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Ta da.